Y'all, this, this is a picture that I look at sometimes in my hallway. And it says, it says Lakeside Legend. And what y'all don't see in that top right-hand corner is a picture of Solomon. Um, Solomon was leading his engineering and robotics team. And Solomon was one of the top students in engineering at Lakeside. But what you don't know is, is when Solomon was little, um, um, the doctor said, hey, he's, he's going to need hearing aids. The doctor said, hey, um, we, we don't think he's going to be able to survive in school or even talk unless he has hearing aids. And then all of a sudden, one day he's in school, he has hearing aids, and he comes home, he says, Daddy, it's just too loud in my ears. The teacher didn't know how to turn it down. And I just said, son, you're not going to wear those hearing aids anymore. And you know what? Ever since then, almost straight A student going through, came, went to FAMU University, got, got a scholarship. He's back home this week. And you know what I look at? I look at that picture and I say, God, you've been good to me. And I'm going to tell you, all of you got these moments. God has blessed us. Sometimes we say these phones are a curse, but man, God has blessed us with this. To where sometimes you're going to capture these moments and you might need to document it. And you might need to pause to just say, man, I remember what was. Y'all know who that is, right? <laughs> That's TJ. <laughs> when I pass by this picture and I look, I can remember when we did our first sports camp at Connect Sports. I passed by uh, this picture and I think of Connect Sports. TJ was playing soccer one summer at Connect Sports. Y'all know we've ministered to literally uh, over a thousand kids through Connect Sports. And that summer with Connect Sports, TJ tripped over the ball, landed on his arm, and broke his arm. <laughs> and I can remember him coming to me, Daddy, why am I so clumsy? Daddy, why, why did I fall? <laughs> Dad, why did this happen? But I tell you what, TJ, I'm going to tell you, that boy is an athlete. One summer, he said, Dad, by the end of this summer, I'm going to be dunking. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, he get, used to get up at 5 in the morning, used to be running through the neighborhood, doing all these jump exercises. And I'm going to tell you, this is a picture of TJ winning a, go a silver medal on, at this meet. And when he won a silver medal at this meet, it qualified him to go to state. And when he went to state, what happened was, is he wound up jumping with some of the longest jumpers in the state of Georgia. And I look back and I just say, God, this is the same boy that said, Daddy, why am I so clumsy? <laughs> but look at what God did. I'm going to tell you, you can do the same thing and look back and say, God has been good to me. God's been good here. Y'all, I look at that and I say, wow, 21 years later. You know, sometimes people give up on marriage too quickly. Sometimes people give up on marriage too quickly. But what was happening is in the first five years, you begin to get to know each other. Then the first 10 years, you get to be in sync with each other. But then by the time you get to 15, oh, you, you repeating each other's sentences. I feel you, baby. I got you. I'm going to tell you, um, now that most of the guys are out the house, at this stage, when you're 20 years in, you begin to experience intimacy, deep intimacy. To where one day we called the boys. They were in college. Kyron was working somewhere. And we called we call them and we say, oh, we decided to come to Texas. Texas? What y'all doing? Oh, we wanted to go to the Braves game. Braves game? Why? What happened? Oh, we just decided to go. Y'all ain't here, so it gives us more freedom to just go and have some fun. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, when I see that picture, I praise God for deep, intimate relationships. God has been good to me, y'all. Y'all get what I'm saying, right? These are stones of remembrance. And if you got places to put different things like this around your house, it's important. I tell you what, I got a prayer list uh, from years ago where we used to pray about God. We wanted to start a church. I look here and I say, God has been good to me. I say, God, we want to be financially stable. And you know what? Connect Church has no outside support. We are totally stable supporting ourselves. God has been good to us. 
I look and I see when we were moving here, it was things like, God, I need health insurance for my children um, because we were on Medicaid at the time. And you know how the Medicaid office can act up sometimes. And it was like, you know, I, I, my, my oldest son, he's got medical issues. And, and Bo, he had medical issues. And others, it was just like, God, how are we going to get them to help? And I see where we are right now. And I just say, God has been good to me. Stones of remembrance. Stones of remembrance. Thank <laughs> you.